Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm just going to be addressing the question on whether or not NordVPN will work for your Samsung Smart TV. And if so, how do you go and set it up? And also in this video guys, I'm going to be using NordVPN on my Samsung Smart TV. And I'm going to be connecting to a different version of Netflix in real time. So I can unblock thousands of other TV shows and movies. And quickly, just before I get stuck in, if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, I do have a massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've gone and turned on my Samsung Smart TV. So when it comes to downloading NordVPN onto this particular device, it's not as easy as it seems. So from the research I've done, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, some are easy and some are quite difficult. So I'll just run through a couple of the options that you can try um, with your TV. So some of the options available for getting NordVPN on your Samsung Smart TV is to actually install it on your internet router. So once you do this, um, you'll actually be able to change your location from your router and that will go and reflect the same changes on all of your devices, not just your TV. But that option is actually quite complicated and complex. The other option is if your Samsung Smart TV is actually running Android, you'll actually be able to go and download NordVPN on the Android TV store. So I actually don't have that functionality on my Samsung TV, so I'm not unfortunately able to do that. Uh, the other option is to use a Smart DNS. And again, this can depend on the Samsung TV that you are using. Some do have this functionality and some don't. And even if that was the possibility, um, NordVPN actually doesn't have the functionality of having a smart DNS proxy. So the last option is the one that I personally use, and that is to use an Amazon Fire TV stick. So I'm not the biggest fan of the kind of usability and the interface of the Samsung um, kind of operating system. So that's why I opt for a Amazon Fire TV stick. So this really does kind of improve the performance and what you actually can do with your smart TV. You can go and download uh, VPNs, you can watch free movies and TV shows and heaps of others as well. So I picked this one up off Amazon. It is the American version and this will allow you to go ahead and download third party apps. So I do realize that it is a little bit annoying that you do have to purchase a third party device to download VPNs onto your Samsung smart TV. But from my own personal kind of experience and opinion, I do think it's a really great investment. You can pick one of these up pretty cheaply. And if you do want to get started with one, I'll have a link down below. And they really do bring a lot to the table as far as like the functionality um, is concerned. So if you are looking to go down this um, Fire TV stick route, I'll show you guys how to do it, how to set it up, and also do a live Netflix test as well. So I'm on the Samsung Smart TV. So I'm just going to go to the source and I'm going to jump over to the Fire TV stick. So I'll open this one up. And this is the Fire TV stick interface. It's kind of like the Apple TV, the Roku, um, those kind of devices. It's very simple to um, navigate and kind of um, access as well. So these are the options I have up here. So I have the home. So this shows me all of the apps that I currently use. Um, so I've got Netflix, NordVPN, IP Vanish and a few others as well. So if you want to go and get NordVPN onto your Amazon Fire TV stick, maybe if you're looking to purchase one or maybe you already have one floating around the house, it's very easily done. You just want to navigate over to the left hand side and then you just want to type in the couple first letters of NordVPN. So I'll go with that one. And right down here we have NordVPN. I'll click on that one. And I actually already have NordVPN installed onto my Amazon Fire TV stick, so I don't have the option to download it. Um, but if you don't have it installed, there'll be a little kind of arrow. You just want to click on that one that will go and install it onto the device. And then you simply log in with your credentials once you open it. And again, guys, if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, don't forget to check out the link down below in the video description. So I'll go and open up NordVPN. And it's asking me for a rating. I'll just get rid of that one. And I've actually already gone and connected myself to an American based server. And this is mainly because I want to go and watch the American version of Netflix. I'm located outside of the US, 
So this means I miss out on thousands of TV shows and movies. And with NordVPN, you can also go and connect to a other, um, I think other locations such as the United Kingdom and I believe Japan as well. So what I'm going to do now guys is just go and disconnect from this particular server as I just want to do a quick before and after comparison just so you guys can see that this method is actually working. So I'll go back to the home page of the Fire Stick. So before I go and open up Netflix, I'll just go and refresh the app and this will um, open me onto my native version of Netflix. So if I go to settings and then I go to applications and then if I go manage installed applications and then I go all the way down to the bottom, I've got Netflix. So I'll just go four stop and then I'll go launch application. And this will open me onto the Australian version of Netflix where I currently am. So at the moment, I miss out on heaps and heaps of TV shows and movies, Marvel, uh, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, uh, The Office, Friends. All of these TV shows can be found on Netflix as long as you know where to look. So I'll open my profile. And as you can see, guys, it's uh, I'm in the Australian uh, Netflix. And if I go and search for a TV show, um, just say I want to go watch The Office. Uh, which is one of my personal favorites. I'll go and search for that one. So for that one. And as you can see guys, nothing is coming up after I search for the office. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the home page of the Amazon Fire TV stick. I'll go to NordVPN and I'll go and search for our location. And I want to go and connect to the United States. So I'll go and search for that one. And even if you're located in the United States, you can even go and connect to other locations um, like the UK, watch TV shows like Friends and other movies that aren't even on the American version of Netflix. So I'll just go press next. And now I'll go to the United States. Click on that one. And this will just take a couple of moments to connect. And once it is connected, this will be highlighted in green. So as you can see, guys, we're now connected to an American-based server. So this means that my entire Amazon Fire TV stick is now connected to that version of the platform. So now I can go back to the home. So before I go ahead and open Netflix, what I'm going to do is close the application and then relaunch it as this will kind of clear any caching issues or any kind of saved data that may be on the app. So I'll go over to settings again and then I'll go to applications, manage installed applications, scroll all the way down to the bottom to Netflix, I'll go force stop and then I'll go launch application and this will go and load me onto the American version of Netflix. So I'll just give this one a couple of moments to load. And now I can open my profile. And as you can see guys, with just a couple of clicks, I'm now on the American version of Netflix. And just to prove this to you guys, I'm going to go and search for the office again. So just go and search for that one. And as you can see guys, I now have access to the TV show office. And if I scroll down a little bit further, I'll also show you some additional titles that aren't available in my particular location. Um, you've got The Walking Dead, um, The Good Place, The Other Guys. And if I keep scrolling on, the, this just keeps uncovering more and more content. And this is just for one particular search as well. So this really is only scratching the surface as to the amount of content that you can find on your Samsung Smart TV when you use it in conjunction with uh, NordVPN and uh, a Fire TV stick as well. So I'll go and play a really small snippet of The Office in real time just to show you guys that this is working and also to share with you kind of the speeds and performance of using NordVPN as well. So I'll just go and click on this one. I'll go and press play. And from my own experience, it typically does take around maybe five to 25 seconds to get started. And this can depend on the time of day that you're trying to connect and a few other factors as well. But as you can see guys, this is now loading with no issues whatsoever and in high definition as well. So there you have it guys, that's a way on how you can get NordVPN up and running on your Samsung Smart TV. 
So I do realize it is a little bit convoluted kind of bypassing the TV and using a Fire TV stick, but I really, really highly recommend it. You can now go and watch the different versions of Netflix and you can even download third-party apps onto your Amazon Fire TV stick so you can access additional content as well. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. And again, if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, don't forget to check out the massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. And also guys, if you have any questions about NordVPN, Amazon Fire TV sticks, um, smart TVs, or anything along those lines, um, feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.